Hey, what's up, guys? Back with another Flight Sim World stream. Tried to do this yesterday, but got cut off, unfortunately. I'm at the St. Louis uh, Airport in California, regional airport, county regional airport, and uh, in the uh, PA-46 Malibu Mirage, going to just fly some patterns at St. Louis. We're going to do a left pattern. I think we're runway 28, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm trying out the um, Flight Sim World multiplayer. So I set up a server called Bambino Games. There's no password. Um, if you want to join in, uh, try it and see if you can log in and join me here at St. Louis. And um, I want again, I want to see if this thing works. So I'm just going to fly some patterns here. We're not in VR. We're in uh, 2D. My Oculus Rift is on its way via UPS back to Oculus for exchange. And I thought it'd be a good time to uh, just uh, spend a little time with Flight Sim World. This is the Community Update 3. Um, I forget the build number, 17299 something. But it's the most recent um, version which they seem to have fixed some of the contrast in the runway. Runways look better, although still not really totally impressed with the, the line painting. But the grass actually looks better, and the trees, they got rid of those, um, looks like they got rid of those light green um, trees, so the colors look do look better. Not really much improvement in frame rate. I did try this with uh, um, the New York. I'm going to be putting up a video probably tomorrow. I ran it again with the New York, uh, flying in New York, just to see what the uh, frame rates were, and they're about the same, so they really haven't done any optimization on frame rates, but I think they've fixed some problems, and they've definitely improved on the colors, so if you're watching the stream, feel free to join me. Uh, if you've got FSW, feel free to join me on the, multi on the multiplayer in the server Bambino Games. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in here, because again, I want to see if this thing works. So let's hit continue here. And let's see what we got here. I don't see anybody else. I'm just going to be flying patterns. Now I'm going to assume that you can... The I know, I know the flight simulator um, chat, Volk voice chat was, was cap lock. So when you hit the cap locks, you were able to talk. Hopefully that that works. Can anybody hear me? <laughs> we'll find out. Um, Alright, so uh, let's just do some patterns here and see who joins the stream. So, that, you know, one thing I did notice here... Oh, Frog007. Alright. Got somebody who joined. Nice. Okay, we're going to take here, oh, if you're, I'm going to see if he can hear me. Hey, Frog007, can you hear me? This is Bambino. We do have gear here, right? I'm going to put the gear up. Fly our pattern. Oh, I forgot to set the heading bug. Oof. That's not good. Uh, okay, where's where's the heading? Well, we're gonna have to do it. The hard way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually change planes to the diamond. I think I was flying the uh, the the, uh, the DA40. I'm gonna change planes. In fact, let me just do that right now. Escape. Flight planner. Uh, back. Flight planner. Doesn't let me change the plane? That sucks. Alright, where's my airport? Um, okay, we're going to see where north is. North is all right, so I should be. Yeah, 
I don't like this plane. I want to switch planes. All right, let me do this. Uh, restart. Yeah, quit this. Oh. Okay. Joining my own server. <laughs> That's weird. See if that works. Network connection has been lost. Alright. So we're going to have to... Damn it. All right, there's a bug. Yeah, let's quit. Start it up again. So you can't switch planes once you start up a server. You have to stick with the plane that you started with, which to me is bizarre, but. All right, that's okay. Let's do this. So uh, let's go to multiplayer. Okay, going to create a server. We're going to go Bambino Games. No password. Let everybody know where we are. Aircraft selection, Diamond Star, weather conditions fair, departure airport, um, somewhere around here, what's that, Oceano, Saint, that's not it, St. Louis, okay, confirm, host, All right. Okay. Launch. Getting the hang of multi-server FSW. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find a manual for FSW. Um, hopefully, I'm mistaken. But if I'm not mistaken, it's really hard to believe that they would release a product without any documentation. Maybe there is documentation somewhere, but... It'd be really nice to have like documentation. I, I did search and I couldn't find anything. All right, here we are. We're good to go here now. So we've got the DA40 single engine. We can um, hit the heading button here and align our bug to the to the runway so we know exactly where we are. And let's just take a look at the tower view. Oh, uh, where's the views? That's not what. Hold on. Um, spot. There you go. There's my plane. Okay. Let's do some pattern work here. I see that's not very realistic and actually the P factor isn't realistic it should run 2 9 we're gonna run the left uh, pattern here all right should should be able to take off here at about 80 knots which we're good to go there nice easy climb we'll fly the length of the runway here Now I've been getting in like mid 20s in frame rate, uh, running ultra. I do have anti-aliasing on, so that probably you know. But I'm running a 1080 Ti, and I've got a pretty powerful processor. So let's do our crosswind turn. So it's saying that we're 800 feet here. 
That's one thing I was saying yesterday. Like, it does not... It feels like we're much lower than 800 feet. But that might have something to do with, you know... Me, uh, you know, being really used to... More used to flying in VR. Okay. Let's make our downwind left. thousand feet so we're I forget the altitude I think it's 200 maybe so want to be about there should be there's our field right there we're about midfield right now to our base turn. Get flaps. We have two settings of flaps in this plane. I can't really read what it says, but... Alright, we should be perpendicular now. There's our runway. And we could probably do our final turn here. Full flaps. We're at uh, descending from 900, which again, it feel. Oh, that was not good. A little close. Not the greatest pattern. We'll get it right. So used to flying a VR where I could turn my head, you know. A little left here. <laughs> here. Okay, flaps up. Breaks. Got someone in the server. I don't see any other planes, any labels. Taxi right here. Although I'm not sure if chat actually works in the FSW multiplayer yet. I guess we'll find out. Well, there's a plane. All right. Hey, this is Bambino. Can anybody hear me? Bambino here. Can anybody hear me? 
I just saw somebody take off. <coughs> And we're going to basically be doing patterns without being able to talk to each other. So he's midfield. I'm going to just take off right now. So multiplayer does seem to work, we just don't uh, have communication. Now maybe it's a different, uh, maybe it's a different button, but it used to be cap locks. Oh, we lost Newson 676. Oh well. There's uh, Yosin. Okay, good. He's flying out of pattern. It's Bambino Games. Can anybody hear me? Got some altitude there, so my runway is right there. I'm at 1300, and again, the height just does not look right to me. I feel like I'm at 300 feet. Start to slow down a little bit. the flaps and we will do our base turn descending as we're turning okay we should be perpendicular now. There's our runway. We can turn final here. Flaps to one. Yeah, we overshot again. It's okay. the 
problem with not being able to uh, to see things. I wonder. It looks like he's flying low or landing or hard to see. Taken off again. We'll do a touch and go this time. Kind of layering this like a SR20. thing about um, FSW is the sky never seems to change. It pretty much always looks the same. <laughs> Alright, Nosen is back. We are just flying the pattern. Alright, there's our runway. Yeah, so I think it's gonna I think it's best to make like a base and final turn just in one swoop because I don't know, it just the ge geometry doesn't seem to be right or uh, different. It's different than what I'm used to with X plane. That's probably a better way to explain it. So let's see, we're midfield right now, just at the end of the field there.
Yeah, unfortunately, you can't. You don't seem to be able to talk in FSW multiplayer. You can see people in here, which is a good first step. But uh, cap locks. It's Bambino. Anybody hear me? Anybody hear me? Radio check. Radio check. Cap locks doesn't work. So learn my lesson here, and I'm just going to do one um, turn to final. Flaps to full. There's the airport. So I've got to kind of line up here. Man, it th I'm sorry. It does not feel like I'm at 1,500 feet. It just doesn't look right to me. I don't want to rank on FSW too much. It just doesn't seem like seem. Again, that could just be because I'm used to flying in VR. full DA40 diamond It's basically FSX. <laughs> I mean, if you've ever flown FSX, this is FSX with a nicer, a nicer looking plane. See if I could do a uh, replay. Can I do a replay? Where's the replay? Oh, I have to go. Boom. Oh, escape. Replay. Replay. Nope. Doesn't let me do a replay when I'm in the server. Oh well. Yeah, that's another issue with this thing. It doesn't have. Uh, it doesn't have, uh, it only has 30, the last 30 seconds of, um, replay, and that 30 seconds is, like, always dissipating. So if I sit on the tarmac for 30 seconds, that landing would be gone. We gotta fix that. It's a weird-looking house. Whoa, 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 come on. Come on. Is it control R, I think, or control U for the rudder? Automated rudder. I forget. Yeah, they're making improvements. I mean, the, the the colors look much better than they did then when they first came out. Like they listened to people there, they made some improvements there, but there's still a long way to go. 
long way to go. All right, let's turn here. We can take off here. Let's do a right pattern this time. Let's see what that looks like. That's weird. Just flying planners at St. Louis. Flight Sim World. We've got a server set up, Bambino Games, if you want to join it. Haven't figured out a way to talk to anybody on the server. I guess that's not functioning, but. Flaps. Golf course right there. There's our oil storage can there in the middle of nowhere. A oh, much better lineup this time. Good. 1,400 feet. I mean, it doesn't look like, it doesn't feel like 1,400, but I guess it is.
I mean, I guess for 25 bucks, it's pretty much worth it, but... Um, it doesn't have... It, it's, it's nowhere near X-Plane 11. It's just not... It just looks fake to me. It's an opinion, you know. You don't have to, you don't have to agree with my opinion, but that's my opinion. I find this plane when I'm I just basically flare it out with no throttle at idle. Beautiful. Flaps up. Let's, uh, let's just take off. Crazy949 has just joined the game. Let's see who that is. We're going to do left patterns. Pattern going to the left. One thing I will say is that this game has not crashed yet on me. I have not had a crash yet. Here's the field. I'm not lined up right, so I'm going to get like this. That's better. Crazy is flying the Seneca. Alright, Seneca V. Nice plane. I have a Coronado Seneca V for X-Plane. I love that plane. Now, this is similar to X-Plane because it's got this golf course right here. I do remember that at golf course when we were flying the left uh, pattern. And then just past the golf course is when you want to start to turn. So. <coughs> I'm going to try to stay below a thousand, which is hard because I feel like I'm too low, but... To our base, left base. We should see that oil can. Try to keep it below a thousand. There's the oil can. Okay, there's three oil cans, so we want the first oil can. Flaps to 25, flaps to full. Make our turn. Overshot it. Crazy in a Seneca.
the other thing is like the ground speed. This is I'm doing 136. It just does not feel like 136 to me. I don't know. Let's see where we can find him. There he is. What's up? Thanks for joining the stream. Appreciate it. Want to say hello in the chat? Please do. We're just flying some patterns here at uh, St. Louis Airport, California. There's a Seneca. He's coming in the other way. We're flying a left pattern, dude. That's kind of dangerous. Oh no, he's flying. He's just doing. He's just doing crazy, crazy maneuvers. Base turn, the flaps, slow the plane down. Yeah, I know. Well, I can't, you know, I know. I'm just trying it out again. Uh, is it Michael? I guess it's Michael. I don't want to mispronounce your name. I'm just trying it out again, giving it a fair shot. Full flaps. That oil can in the middle of nowhere is our marker. Turn on that, and we should be pretty well lined up. 1,300 feet. It's pretty damn high. Oh, look at that guy. He's a lunatic. <laughs> Crazy man. Sierra Brava has joined the game. Oh, we got two planes in the game now. Cool. Is he flying back towards me now? I'm going to do a touch and go here.
Michael, I'm trying to give it a good, fair shot. Oh, this has a stick between your legs. All right, okay. I can hear a plane going behind me. It's probably going to come up to my right. Flaps to the one's first setting.
Who the hell are those guys? I don't know. Minding my business, flying patterns, getting buzzed by these crazy uh, flyers in FSW. Seems like in FSW and FSX, you got a lot of lunatics flying around, which is fine. It's, it's fun. It's more of a game, really, kind of in uh, X Plane. Is. X Plane's more serious. Because you got the navigation aspect, especially if you're like in Pilot Edge. It's, it's a little more serious. <laughs> I just saw that. They're trying to buzz me, which is fine. It'll make for good video. By the uh, the runway here. Take the option. I don't know what they call that. Fly in the field? I forget what they call that. There's a name for it. Ghost Recon has joined the game. Anybody hear me out there? Anybody hear me?
Oh, he's on the runway. Still on the runway. This time I'm going to land. Right in front of him. Boy, all right, flaps to, I guess it's 25. Then you go full flaps. Make our base turn. We're gonna land right over top of them. Flaps to full. Start to slow the bird down. There we go. Oh, he's gone now. There's the diamond. These guys know that we're on YouTube. They're both coming right at me. <laughs> uh, you gotta love FSX and FSW. Crazy. Why don't I see them? Tell you what, let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's go uh, observe a little bit here. Whoa! 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 Come on! This thing does not handle well at all. Hmm. Come on. Let's park this baby over here. This thing does not handle well at all. Get rid of this annoying thing.
Alright, let's park right here. See if I can get tower view. Uh, why can't you? To eat. Oh, okay, we could follow him. There's Ghost Recon. Right there. Driving like a lunatic. And then we can go to... He's coming over here. Okay, here's a tower. But we can't... I can't... change my view. I, can't, I, I hit the space bar and... Oh, there we go. Okay, gotcha. But I can't... change the location of my view. Which is really weird. There's the two planes right there. I'm the left, and Crazy Man is to the right. Ghost Recon is somewhere over there, somewhere. I don't know where the hell... Oh, he's over there. On the other runway. So let's get back to cockpit view. Uh, let's go to spot, and we can... There he is, right there. Okay, cool. Pilot. Pilot view. Let's go take off. right over there. Guess he wants to watch me take off and which which we will do right now. Lightly up on the yoke. Push forward once we get airborne. So we have a nice easy slow ascent. Alright, starting to get used to the plane. It's a little sluggish. I don't have a DA-40 for uh, X-Plane. Uh, where am I? Oh, I'm way out of whack here. I'll be over here. I 
I mean, this plane looks good, but I'm sorry. It's, it's, there's no comparison. There's no comparison. Starting to stagger now a little bit. Wonder if there's memory creep issues. You see the staggering? Oh, he's got his plane shut down over there. All right, I think we're going to call it a stream, guys. Just wanted to have a little fun with my fl with flight uh, flight simulator world here and uh, do some pattern work. I really wish there was a way we could communicate on this uh, multi um, multiplayer, but unfortunately, there's no way to do that. Um, I don't know. I'm going to look into it and see if I'm. I don't have something configured properly or something, so. Anyway, I'm going to sign off, guys. Appreciate you watching. Hit the like button if you like this stream, what you saw. Tuna, I'm not really interested in this game, but okay, yeah. I know what you're saying. I was just giving it a shot just to try it out, and uh, I don't have my Oculus right now. I had to send it 
I had to send it back to the to the manufacturer for a new one because of a issue with the horizontal tilt by tuna. But anyway, that's why I'm messing around with this. So guys, hit the like button if you'd like to. Don't forget to subscribe to Bambino Games for more gaming and flight simulation in 2D and 3D. And I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.